Integral calculus is the branch of mathematics that is concerned with how much change has occurred. For example, if a missile is accelerating and its rate of speed is given by the function rate is equal to time squared, find the distance in miles that the missile has traveled by t equals 4 minutes. Now take a look at the graph. Integral calculus teaches us that the area under the curve is equivalent to the total distance traveled. So the area under the curve up until time 4 should be equivalent to the total distance traveled by time 4. We can approximate the area under the curve using rectangles. This works because each of the rate times time products represents miles traveled. The area of the rectangle is represented by rate times time. In our first example, we use just four partitions, or rectangles, and we come with a total area of 14. The total area is obtained by adding the area of all the rectangles. For example, our first rectangle has an area of 0. Our second rectangle, from time 1 to time 2, has an area of 1. Our third rectangle has an area of 4. And our fourth rectangle has an area of 9. Add these together, and we get the total of 14. But do you see all the empty space that is unaccounted for? If we double our partitions, we should be able to gain a better estimate of the area. With 8 partitions, we get a total area of 17.5, which is equivalent to 17.5 miles traveled. Note that some of the previous white space is now accounted for. Let's do it again. 16 partitions. With 16 partitions, our total area is 19.375 much closer than the estimate from four partitions.